today, well, new for me, um, wanted to <clears throat> keep it different. So I'm going to attempt to do a ring pillow blue. So I'm gonna, instead of just doing a regular pillow, I'm gonna <clears throat> put it into a cup, do a kind of fake ring pour, and then bloom on top, see if that does anything. Now, disclaimer, I cannot do any other forms of fluid art at all, and I'm horrible at it. Um, so don't like look to me for ring pour tips. Mm. And I know like these consistencies are off, by the way, this is Benjamin Moore Dark Purple. I've left it open a few days. I also know this isn't the best cup to pour from. I'm just gonna layer my Glidden Essentials eggshell with that purple color. <clears throat> I was actually at um, the Fluid Art Experience helping out with the TLP group and Mina was there and I jumped into her ring pour class. Not only was it a disaster, I set my uh, canvas on fire so I'm not sure if I'll be invited back, haha. <laughs> and, but I did learn that it's really, you have to like move your arm really, really, really fast and really stiff. Like there's a, there's definitely a method to it, which of course I can't do. All right, so why don't I try this and then just around it, I'll do the white. We'll see what happens, hold on. And I know this isn't even like the greatest cup to do a ring pour from, but whatever. <clears throat> Are you ready? Okay. Oh Lord. I've probably already made a mistake. Let's go. Oh, I'm going so fast. Oh, that's not working. I don't know. Look at me doing rings. I'm just going to, because you're not really going to see this middle part anyways, because we're going to be blooming on it. Okay, let's pretend. Well, yeah, let me just, I'll keep going. What do you think, guys? Does this look promising or not so much? I don't know. Okay, so now around here, I'll just do the white, like normal. That's kind of pretty color, right? I don't know. Okay. So let's put her around. Do you think this is going to work? I'm just going to go like this. Okay. And like this. Oh, too much there. One day I'll, won't be as messy, you know? Do you think that's a thing? Okay, so let's talk about colors. Now that I, is this weird? It could be. Okay, now I'm just gonna do this. Now that I have this down, let us do this, playing with my paint, getting black from underneath. Okay, whatever, right? We're not looking for perfection, are we? Okay, so let's start. I am going to start with, for funsies, TLP Horizon. This is just kind of what I have mixed up. I love, it's a little gloopy, isn't it? I'm gonna thin it out. See how gloopy it is? It's okay to adjust as you're pouring because things change depending on temperature, if you've left them open for a bit and you want all of your uh, consistencies to be pretty similar for the bloom. Okay, so let's put this down. Really nice orange color. Now I do, I'm gonna try to keep it small so we still have uh, the background, right? Okay, so on top of that, why don't I do uh, this purple? is a whole bean color called amethyst. Okay. On top of the purple, why don't I do golden peach, TLP. On top of that, what am I topping it with? Okay, I'll top it with, yeah. 
Um, here's magenta, because I'm using a Payne's Gray uh, cell activator today, so you have to, if you're using a dark cell activator, you do usually want to top it off with a lighter color. So that's golden magenta. Now, this is a new color uh, from TLP coming out uh, January 16th. It's called Aphrodite. Very pretty, kind of like a coppery, rosy, reddy situation. And I'm gonna top that with a bit of TLP Twinkle. You know, I love my interference colors. I only have a little bit left. This is like kind of like a violety blue shift, which is lovely. And then I'm gonna top that with um, a custom light purple that I made. Um, and then I'll put my Payne's Gray. So, ooh, look, see, that's gloopy too. One moment. I'm in my lake house studio because I'm here now for a little bit. So it's colder here. It's different temperatures. Then my, my paints are confused as to where they are. Okay. So let's get her back into the middle. What, I don't know, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Here's my cell activator. I mix it about three to one, but you know, I eyeball it anyways. Okay, let's get to blowing. Put a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we're looking at. Is this strange? Because, okay, so now I wanna look at, you can see the rings, but it might look a little strange. So I'm just gonna take my skewer <clears throat> and maybe pretend that the rings are part of it so it makes more sense right i don't know je ne sais pas okay um Okay, we're getting there. This part I don't like right here. I'm just kind of fixing parts or kind of joining them together. Okay, I don't know. Let's just spin and see, right? Okay, kind of weird. Kind of weird. Let's get this corner off a little bit more. I mean, kind of cool and kind of weird at the same time, right? Like, cow spinner. I kind of like the bottom part. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Okay, let's go look in the light. You guys will tell me what you think. There's like something I like about it and then there's something that's kind of weird. But uh, thanks for joining. Let me know what you think. Have a good day.